many a times in the science fiction movies or books we have seen the story of an asteroid reaching towards the earth and about to destroy the earth or the human life and suddenly at the last moment the human comes up with a last minute trick and saves the earth on time and this is what has happened in reality this time Hello and welcome to the In Focus series section of Drishti IAS. I am Aisha Singh and in today's video we will be discussing about the DART mission of NASA and the DART stands for Double Asteroid Redirection Test. So let us first understand the timeline of the video. First we will be looking at the news then about the DART mission and the asteroid collision takes place in reality or not. And then in the end, a prelims MCQ and a mains practice question. This topic is of relevance from general studies paper 3 that is science and technology. See, from exam perspective, you should be able to know that DART mission belongs to which country, then what is DART mission and the name of the asteroid which is involved in the DART mission. Because many a times we have seen that in the previous year questions, the UPSC has asked about the asteroids and the country involved in the mission. So, let's see the news. And the news has been taken from the Indian Express and it says why NASA has deliberately crashed a spacecraft into an asteroid. So first important thing is that the mission belongs to NASA and the second is that there is an spacecraft which is crashed into an asteroid. So this is what is the main point here that a spacecraft has been made to crash into an asteroid. Okay, see what has happened is many a times we have seen that there are asteroids which are coming towards earth and many a times we have seen in the predictions that there might be danger from the asteroids. So this time NASA has developed a te technique which is a planetary defense technique in which if if in future a asteroid comes to hit the earth and will cause damage then in that in that scenario the nasa will be able to protect the earth from that asteroid by destroying the asteroid or making the asteroid deviate from its orbit or from its path so this time and this situation is a probability which might take place in future and what nasa has done now is just to see whether if this condition takes place in future then what as humans we will be able to do. Then on Tuesday morning which was day before yesterday Indian time of 4.46 am NASA for the very first time what has it done? Then an asteroid was not headed towards the earth and there was no danger of any collision this time. This time what NASA has done in its mission is the asteroid was not coming towards the earth and there was no danger of it. But just to see that if in future the condition arises, the problem arises that if an asteroid is coming towards earth, what can we do? So this time this was not happening, the asteroid was not coming but just to see that whether we will be able to tackle the situation in future if the if the question arises or if the situation arises then to see that whether we can do it or not NASA has done this. So one of the spacecraft has crashed itself against a small asteroid. Okay and the name of this asteroid is see this and the name of the asteroid is Dimorphos that is D-I-M-O-R-P-H-O-S. See this is Dimorphos it is an asteroid. So, what has been predicted is imagine that this is earth. So, this asteroid is coming towards earth. Just a condition I am telling you. So, this asteroid is coming towards earth and in and this may cause problem for the earth. So, what NASA has done is this is the DART spacecraft which NASA has used and this spacecraft has went to the asteroid and has crashed with the asteroid just to see that whether this can deviate the asteroid from its path so that asteroid gets destroyed and does not collide with earth 
this is what is the concept of this mission mission dart so this one of the spacecraft is which spacecraft it is dart spacecraft and it has crashed against a small asteroid and which is that asteroid it is dimorphus and that the dimorphus was orbiting the sun okay now the motto of or the aim of the dart mission was to see whether the change the orbit of the asteroid takes place or not after the spacecraft hits the asteroid the asteroid changes its orbit or not because if the asteroid will not change its orbit then the aim of the mission will not be complete then the asteroid dimorphus was 11 million kilometer that with that is around 300 times the distance to moon and this is the time when the dimorphus asteroid is closest is closest to earth while going around in its orbit so and this time there was no danger that it could have come and collided with the earth so uh, thankfully there was no danger and this was just a technology demonstration which nasa was doing just to see that whether we are capable of handling the situation in future if it arises and access the capabilities to do such maneuvers in future if a need arise so this is not happening in reality but preparing oneself for future now let us talk about when we are saying that asteroid dimorphus is is being attacked or is being uh, attacked by the spacecraft then we need to know that what are asteroids so the asteroids are rocky objects that orbits the sun that orbits the sun and they are much smaller than planets okay asteroids see imagine this is sun then asteroids orbits the sun around it and they are also called minor planets it means they are much smaller in size as compared to the planets and they are also the remnants from the formation of the solar system which was around 4.6 billion years ago okay see these images these are the dart mission images this is the asteroid and this is the dart spacecraft which was moving towards the asteroid for collision this is the asteroid this is such a beautiful image i would say and such a clear image that one can even see the surface of the asteroid and this is the tweet which was put by nasa and it says impact success that is the dart mission and draco camera so the camera which was put on the dart mission is draco d r a c o draco camera now let us talk about that whether asteroid collision takes place in reality or not see there the uh, mission which has happened now there was no threat to earth from this particular asteroid but nasa has said that no real danger to earth from asteroids for the next 100 years at least so this is what nasa has said that for the coming 100 years there is no threat but that does not mean the threat does not prevail in 2013 what has happened is there was an asteroid which entered the earth surface and exploded over russia this happened in 2013 and it exploded over russia and it caused injuries to people and it also caused damage so there are small asteroids also which are millions of them orbits around the sun but the problem does not really come from the small asteroid it is about the big asteroids that even if a single one big asteroid comes then this will this is what will create the major problem then and the small asteroids keep entering the earth surface on a regular period of time but it is that they burn out they burn out due to the friction before they reach the surface okay see if this is earth see what happens if this is earth and this is the asteroid which is coming and this is a small asteroid so before entering the earth surface what happens is due to friction due to friction it starts to burn then due to friction it starts to burn and when it starts to burn then it destroys itself and does not cause damage to earth 
but the danger is from bigger asteroids no, not really from the small asteroids and there is a possibility a probab probability the possibility is that the asteroid of the size of 25 meters would come once every 100 years and 25 meters is a lot of size this asteroid can actually have the capability to destroy and cause widespread damage now let us talk about the dart mission and the dart stands for double asteroid redirection test or dart then dart mission is about dimorphous asteroid which is which is actually a moon to a slightly larger asteroid which is didymos you need to remember the name of the asteroid which is dimorphous towards which the dart spacecraft was launched and it belongs to which country nasa us then didymos is 78 meter at its width while dimorphous is about 160 meters it means dimorphous is much smaller than didymos if this is the size of didymos then this is what is dimorphous then dimorphous orbits around didymos and the two body system go around the sun as we have seen that asteroids moves or rotates around the sun it orbits around the sun so if this is sun then both didymos and dimorphous that is two body system you can say orbits around the sun and the dart mission was launched in november last year by nasa and the collision is likely to create a crater on the surface of the dimorphous because see if an, there is an asteroid which is not very large in size if something will come and collide with its surface then it is obvious that some crater would be created or there would be some impact in on the surface of the dimorphous asteroid now let us come to a prelims mcq and i want you people to see this that how i have placed the options of this question because these kind of options are usually asked by upsc and i think around 2016-17 uh, upsc has asked these this type of question on the same lines so you can understand the concept that how the questions are being formed and how even the options are being created then what is dart which is recently seen in news a low cost spacecraft by nasa solar powered two seater aircraft designed by japan c space observatory launched by china and d reusable rocket designed by isro so you people need to tell me the answer in the comment section and the last set is the mains practice question and this question is of 10 marks and i've given you a straightforward one what is dart mission command is what what is dart mission and why is it considered so important for future so you need to tell about the dart mission and few of its features and also talk about that why is it important for future the possibility that if a situation can come then the concept of dart mission can be followed so that's all for today thank you so much for watching till we meet next time keep reading and keep writing